Dear colleagues, with the spread of the coronavirus, we're experiencing a situation that is completely new to all of us. For example, uh, today I'm not speaking to you as usual for my office. Like so many of you, um, I'm now in home office. <laughs> and I have to say, yeah, it's okay. More importantly, it makes sense because by staying home, we aren't just protecting ourselves, we are protecting everyone else too by helping to slow the spread of the virus. My thoughts these days, however, go specifically to those of you who cannot work from home. Those of you on the front line for our patients in our clinics, in our hospitals, in our plans, our distribution centers, uh, and in many other locations. You have earned my most sincere thanks. Together, uh, we have already achieved a great deal. Our hospitals, Helios in Germany, Curan Salute in Spain, have been fully made available to treat COVID-19 patients. In both countries, we have significantly increased the number of intensive care beds and ventilator stations. And our VAMED rehab clinics in Germany, in Austria and other countries uh, are helping to relieve the burden uh, on local acute care hospitals. We have further strengthened safety and hygiene standards in Fresenius Medical Care's more than 4,000 dialysis clinics around the world. And this ensures that patients will be able to continue receiving their life-saving dialysis treatment. In the US, we have joined other dialysis providers to offer isolation capacity for uh, the treatment of dialysis patients who are or may be COVID-19 positive. We're also doing everything we can to maintain the production and distribution of our products and wherever possible, um, even to expand it. This applies to both Fresenius Medical Care and to Fresenius Carby. Demand for some of the drugs manufactured by Fresenius Carby, uh, the anesthetic propofol, for instance, has risen sharply. Uh, and we have reacted fast and decisively. Essentially, all our compatible manufacturing capacity is now being used to produce these important medications. And despite the, the significantly higher demand, we have pledged to keep our prices on these drugs stable during the pandemic. These are just a few of very many examples what applies to all of them, the health and safety of our patients and our staff remains Fresenius's top priority. The question is now, what comes next? Frankly, I also don't know yet in detail. What we do see though, is that many of the measures taken so far appear to be having the desired effect. Going forward, we will have to find the right balance between loosening various restrictions on the one hand and the continued containment of the virus on the other. And that balance that applies to both society and to us as a company. There is one thing though that I'm certain about. If we continue to deal with this situation with the same assurance and quiet competence, whether it's in home office or in a clinic, in a plant or on the road of, on behalf of Fresenius. And if we keep bringing in the same commitment to our patients, then we will overcome this crisis. We are needed, especially now. People depend on us and in recent weeks, we, you, have shown that their faith in us is absolutely justified. And this is also why Fresenius as a company continues to do well. This pandemic reminds us once again of the importance of our company's commitment. 
which has probably never been more important than it is right now. Ever better medicine for ever more people. Let's please keep working toward that, especially during these extraordinary times. And please keep taking good care of yourselves. Thank you.